Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I am your Islamic teacher Rifat Amin. Today I will explain your chapter from your book Introduction to Islam class 2. As all of you know, we are going through a very crucial time. During this time of challenge, we will be working as a team and take online classes. As we don't want this to affect your studies. We will take this COVID-19 situation as a challenge and move forward fighting against it, inshallah. Okay, this is the name of your chapter that is the Messenger of Allah. It's from your book, page number 20, chapter 3, unit 1. Who is Allah? Yes, we know who is Allah, alhamdulillah. Allah is simply the Arabic word for God. He is the same universal God worshipped by people of all faiths. The word Allah is sometimes preferred over God because it is neither masculine nor feminine. Also, there is no plural for Allah. The oneness of Allah. Yes, Allah is the one. The Islamic beliefs do not leave any possibility of any other supreme power or being. Allah is the one and only. What is Islam and who are Muslim? Islam means surrender. And it is central idea is a surrendering to the will of God. Its central article of faith is that there is no God but God and Muhammad is his messenger. Here the God is capital. That means it is Allah, the one and only. Okay. Islam began with the Prophet Muhammad. Followers of Islam are called Muslim. Yes, we are Muslim and our religion name is Islam. Who is the messenger of Allah? It is actually the main topic of your chapter. Hazrat Muhammad وسلم, is the messenger of Allah. He was the last of the prophets sent for our guidance. Yes, he is the last messenger of Allah. Prophet وسلم, born in the 12th Rabiul Awal in 570 AD. His father was Abdullah who died a few months before his day. His mother was Amina, who died when he was only six years old. His, after his mother, his grandfather, Abdul Muttalib, took care of him. Prophet ﷺ was in the care of his uncle, Abu Talib, after the death of his grandfather. So, it is the story of our Prophet ﷺ's childhood. To be a Muslim, we have to believe in five pillars of Islam. Kalima is one of these. So the first kalima is kalima tayyaba. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. It means there is none worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. It is the basic declaration of Islamic faith. The second kalima is kalima shahadat. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa dahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. It means, I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except Allah, the one alone, without partner. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. In the end, I want to repeat the whole lecture again that first point is we have to believe in the oneness of Allah. Second one is Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of Allah. Third one is by reciting Kalima Tayyibah and Kalima Shahadat we can accept this truth. What's the truth? The truth is Allah is the one, as and Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of Allah. Thank you, students. This all from today, okay? But always remember to stay safe and healthy as your health is our first priority. Allah Hafiz.